Hello po sa lahat. Welcome po sa channel natin where I'll teach you the common lessons for IT courses dito sa Pilipinas. Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon is about database. Since this playlist is all about MySQL, dapat alam din natin ang mga principles and terms behind this. Una sa lahat, ano po ba yung tinatawag natin na database? When you say database, this is just an organized collection of data for faster insertion, retrieval, update, and deletion. Dati, pag nagsisave ng data, all we can think of is paper, folders, and organizers. Pag may kailangan na information, we scan through these documents, which we all know takes a lot of time and effort. Sa ngayon, may mga offices and institutions pa rin na may paper-based data, but for backup purposes na lang nila. So, to eliminate such efforts on managing data, nagkaroon tayo ng database. Kahit saan may database, meron sa mga mobile apps, maybe to store location or pick up points gaya ng Uber and Grab. Or mobile games to store your level and scores. Shopping sites like Lazada or Shopee also use database para sa list ng products nila and its prices. Another example is LVC website kung saan pwede kang mag-track ng shipment mo using the transaction number. Best example sa usage ng database ay yung mga airline companies like PAL or Cebu Pacific. Dito, pwede kang mag-book online ng flights and pwede ka rin mag-check in online. Ngayon, alam na natin ano ang gamit ng database. Pag-usapan naman natin paano natin mamamanage yung data natin. When you say manage, ito yung kung paano tayo mag-save, mag-edit, mag-retrieve, or delete ng data. Dito na papasok si SQL, or some authors say it SQL, or Standard Query Language. This is the language used to manage data. Itong nakikita nyo is an example of SQL syntax. Iba't ibang DBMS or software, iba't iba din yung syntax na accepted. For example, sa MySQL, gumagamit ng double quote to concatenate or magdugtong ng string of characters. Pero sa MS Access naman, it uses brackets. So I've mentioned earlier about DBMS. This means Database Management System. Ito yung mga software na pwede mong gamitin para ma-manage mo yung data mo. Ito yung ilan sa mga example ng DBMS na pwede mong gamitin. So, iba't ibang company, iba't ibang software din ang ina-offer nila. Pero sa lesson natin, we will use MySQL from XAMP or SAMP. In the next lesson, I will show you how to download and install SAMP.